Welcome, friends, to the Real Enterprise YouTube channel. I am Enterprise Forever. Uh, this is part two of the tour of my uh, ultimate survival castle built on survival mode only. No cheating. Uh, and uh, that will be watched part one, so you can see the village of the castle and all that. Um, part two here will be uh, uh, covering as much as I can of the main house. So let's get started right away. Um, this is right where I left off from the last one. As you can see the stairs are blown out. So we're all trapped up here in the uh, keep. Let's see. Let's go in the main house. See the entry. These little kind of uh, arch vaulted ceiling type thing. Uh, and then you step into here. You've got chandeliers. Uh, I left the walls bare in here because you're really not. Your focus coming in here is forward. Um, once you get closer to the walls, then I went with some painting. Um, red carpet. Every, basically, the walkways on the first two floors, they use red carpet. Just kind of thought it had a more of a kind of a castle feel to it. Um, the main hallway here on the first floor, uh, decorated with uh, loot from all the various mobs in the game. You know, spiders, even some rotten flesh. I even did slimes, even though they're not that very well, they're not dangerous. But see there, slime wall. Um, even the Nether is represented. Today's rod. And, last but not least, the uh, Enderman right here. The most difficult of mobs. Uh, so, this is kind of like, like a trophy. Trophy hallway, I guess. Slaying the spoils of war. Uh, let's see. We'll go down there later. This is one of my favorite rooms. It's, it's a split level room. Um, you see, it opens up. And then there's another level up there. I really like that design. Um, I like this couch here. It's got a little, uh, it's maybe like a table where you play cards, something like that. Some paintings. There's uh, King Graham from the King's Quest uh, video game, if you guys know that. Although this painting, which is really strange, is a uh, scene from Space Quest. Space Quest 1, to be precise. And that's the original Space Quest one, not the, uh, they remodeled it with a, a VGA version that would look totally different than that. Um, but not to get into some art conversation. Uh, let's see, this patio here is, the sun actually rises in that direction, that's uh, east. So it comes right up, this is a good uh, viewing spot for it. Um, so this, this room's kind of like for, oh gosh, what would you say, like, um, you know, morning, in the morning. Good morning uh, room. Uh, it's got a waterfall there. You can actually see the underside of the waterfall. Oh, and as you can see here, I, I kind of did like a sliding glass window type thing here. I think it looks like sliding glass windows, but, you know, you can take it or leave it. Um, this door here leads to the dining room, but we'll go up here first. Um, this is the upper level. It's got a little bar. I really like this bar. Um... The specific bar, actually, I really like. Uh, this uh, keg here, I actually have to give credit. Um, I got this from the Minecraft Furniture Forum. Uh, anyone should check that out if they want ideas. Or just, you know, you get an idea and then you can make what you want. Like, this keg, I love, so I added it to my bar. Which is my own design. But, uh, I thought it looked really cool. Um, and I love these little flip doors for the bar. That's that. We've got a clock. Every room in the castle here has a clock. Or has a clock. Uh, this actually has two clocks because there's two levels. The only rooms that don't have a clock are the dining room and the uh, what is that room? Uh, oh, the royal court does not have a clock either. Let's go into the dining room. The dining room has seats 22. It's got five chandeliers. Uh, incredible views right there. You can see. Really about views. Oh, the sun is rising right there. That's a promise. You can see it out there. Don't have time right now. Um, but just, just fabulous views. Uh, with centerpieces and table settings here, as you can see. But no food is set up right now. Hey, anything can be laid out there, depending on the meal. Um, and one with really big pictures in here, just to fill the walls. Um, the, the, pa the paintings are really limited in this game. Just kind of a downside, uh, even more limited for me because I don't like skulls. So, and if you like skulls, it's not a problem. I, I just personally don't like them. 
So I only went with pictures that I deemed acceptable. Anywho, so that's the dining room. Uh, that's two entrances. The second entrance here is for uh, food we brought in from the kitchen, which is down there. I'll take you there next. Um, let's just quick go through the rest of the first floor. Uh, this is more of a evening uh, area. Uh, the sun sets out there, as you can see the moon is setting right now. Um, it's for grilling, as you can see, you got a grill. And then a uh, table here to sit at, and then some booth, uh, overflow seating. Um, and if it was raining, you would sit in here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's more, more like for late afternoon to evening. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, good view of the garden. Um, oh, did I skip this? Uh, this is the bathroom for the first floor. Uh, it's just a half bath, so it's a toilet, sink, countertop. It's pretty cramped. Don't really need that much room just to go to the bathroom. Um, oh, this is the billiard room right here. A couple of pool tables. Billiard table. Ah, they're too small. They're, they're pool tables. Um, a little over... I, I don't know. I, your choice are like glowstone or this. I only like glowstone. I only use it in one spot in the castle. Um, these are uh, dartboards. My interpretation of a dartboard, I guess. I used to have Ender. Uh, some decorations. That's actually the die. I used for the pool table. I tried to, some of the decorations I tried to make kind of like, I don't know, some, had something to do with the room itself. Um, better get moving here. Uh, this is the basement. So I, as I told you, the kitchen is right here. So the kit food will be brought up by the servants to the dining hall. Kitchen in here, like I said, decorations fit. It's all food items. Uh, little cabinets, uh, some furnaces sink. Uh, there's a pantry over here, right there. Uh, center island. Again, more food elements. Everything you'd need right there for a cake, except for a bucket of milk. Um, and that is the kitchen, right there. Uh, oh, let's just do the whole basement. Um, up here, coming up on the right, is going to be a bowling alley. Let's just get down there right now. Here's the bowling alley. Two-lane alley. Uh, seating. Um, there's the glowstone I told you about that I used. Uh, I just thought it had a good feel. The lighting, too, on the alley, I like. See, that? that's kind of a... I don't know. I liked it. Uh, the decorations in here, these uh, tools are diamond tools that have one hit left in them. So these are just the tools that were used to build this castle and the swords to fight off the enemies for building it. Um, I just thought it'd be cool to have... kind of, like, represent what it took. Um, obviously, I didn't save all the stone tools I used before I had unlimited diamond tools, so those are all lost, but, uh, those are all the diamond tools I've used. Uh, this, actually, you know, I used glowstone in two places in the castle, and this is the other place. It's a, uh, basketball court, a little storage area over here. Here is the basketball court. It's full court. Again, glowstone. It's really the only way to light a uh, basketball court. You can't have torches in the middle of the court. It's got glass backboards. Game clock right there. Obviously, it doesn't work, but um, there are two identical. Well, they're identical in the fact that they have the same stuff, but that's a much longer hallway because it wraps around to the other side of this, which is the locker room. So two locker rooms for both sides, um, or female, female. I don't know. Uh, I made little lockers. Um, got a soaking tub, you know, to relax after the game, and showers. Don't want to stay in here too long because I don't have my hut up. Uh, let's see if I was drowning. I would have no idea. A um, couple of toilets. And that's it. The other locker room, uh, it's the exact same setup. So it's two two locker rooms. Uh, I'm going to get moving here, though. Just get uh, and then this is basically the uh, treasure. Uh, I think this is... There we go. Uh, this would be, uh, wood, uh, dirt. See, I even keep my dirt. I'm a Minecraft hoarder. That's all a bunch of fences. These, these are all the fences I took out of mines that, you know, naturally occur in the game. I take everything out of the mines to use for a later purpose. This is all I have left in my stone. Um, but even, like, trees. This is all oak right here. Um, I've got all the other trees. I think, which one's jungle? Yeah, it's all jungle. Um, this is actually all gravel over here. Um, but uh, 
basically that's how I set it up. So that these would be, you know, the woods, the dirt, gravel, stone. This is all literally, I'll just show you this left. Arr, crying out loud. This is all wheat and sugar cane right there. All of it. All of these chests. That's just for emergency cake baking supplies. Um, and then there's eggs. That's all eggs over there. Uh, oh, and all the other food items that I've collected right there from the farm. Um, this is all like specialty stuff, like all the coal. I have every piece of coal I've ever mined back there, but never use it. Um, what else? Uh, all the ores that I've collected. Uh, my iron ores all in there because I get unlimited iron. Uh, there's a video for that, so I don't even I don't even cook the. Um, well, let me just show you. I really don't have time for this, but so like all these these ingots are all my limited iron that I got. Uh, if you watch my video, it shows you how to do it. But this is all iron ore that I mined over the time, and I don't even cook it. But uh, we better get moving here. Where's my redstone? Yeah, that's all my redstone right there. Um, but we better get going. So basically, everything's organized uh, by stuff. I probably could put up little signs saying what they were, so I'd remember it. Um, now I have like another secret treasure room. It's hidden. Um, basically, so you, there's a spot on a wall somewhere in the basement that you'd throw this on, and then you'd flip the switch, and then the wall would open somewhere. I'm not going to show you where it is, top secret, but uh, somewhere around here. Anyway, it's another treasure room. It's got all the best loot diamonds, gold, everything. Um, so that's the entire basement. Oh, and underneath is a sub-basement that has a secret entrance. It's a maze that leads to a grotto, which another, has another secret entrance to more secret stuff. Um, but again, I don't even have time to do it. Um, uh, what do we got left? Uh, second floor, second floor. Um, second floor is right here. Uh, got the library here. Has some great views of the garden and the farm over there. Uh, I've got some bookcases. I did a little lava fireplace. Almost like if you had like a natural gas fireplace in your house or something like that. Uh, and then I've got a little home office thing going on here. Right here for meetings and such. Again, great views. It's all about the views, I think, when you're designing a place. Um, I like this desk. I kind of copied it uh, later too, you'll see. But that's that. Plenty of seating. This is uh, kind of displaying the small painting of the different kinds that you can have. I usually have a little trick where I'll actually, if I want a specific like size, I'll just I put some wool blocks in the shape that I want, and then just throw the painting over and over again to get that size. As you can see, I did that, kind of spaced them out. No repeats. Now this is my Hall of Armor. All great castles have Halls of Armor. Um, in Minecraft, you got to use a frame. I've got a full set of iron armor. And then, well, I've got a couple of oddball things like a saddle and then, you know, a bow and arrow. Um, I have a full set of chain mail, which is really hard to get. You have to get that from villagers. You have to make it so they offer those things to you. It's very time consuming. And then a full set of diamond armor. And then the two diamond weapons that you can kill enemies with the uh, axe and a sword. But that is the Hall of Armor. Um, don't have a lot of time left. I'll try to show you the third floor really quick. So we'll get running. Here's the third floor. These are the bedrooms. There are nine bedrooms and one uh, little utility closet for the maid, as you can see there. Uh, the bedrooms are all the same in the fact that they have a full bathroom. Every bedroom has a full bathroom. That's a sink, toilet, and then a raised bathtub in every single one. And every bedroom has a queen-size bed like this. Um, plants, little decorations, and a clock. And that's a mirror. My attempt at a mirror, anyway. And then every every exterior bedroom, there's only two bedrooms that don't have this. These are balconies. Um, oh, gosh. And that is pretty much this floor. I'll tell you what. I will I will pick up the next part of the tour right here. Uh, again, this is NRA Forever for the Real, for the Real NRA Forever YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, and please watch part three, which will be on uh, next. Uh, thanks.